if you come up with your dream life, you know you have a fine woman with you. Or if you're into the whole poly, if you want a lot of women, you still want a lot of fire ass women, right? What's good, Dark Knight motherfucking gang? I'm Neptune. Hey, bro, uh, I'm still not coming back to October, but I wanted to make this video real quick. Y'all my boy, so I got to help y'all out really fast, man. Look, you see the title of this video. I'm about to tell you what you're supposed to use women for. I'm sorry. As a man, we use women. And I'm going to tell you what you're supposed to use them for in the correct way. Not on no toxic masculinity BS, bro. I'm going to teach you the correct way how you utilize your masculine energy and you use women. What they're meant for in a man's life. So look, before I really break it down, I need you to think. I need you to think. Put your thinking caps on. They used to say that when I was in elementary school. They'd be like, put your thinking caps on. I used to be like, okay, teacher. All right, nah, let me stop. Anyway, anyway, put your motherfucking thinking caps on, bro. I'm about to break this down to you. Think about this. Throughout the animal kingdom, you see animals. They fight. They battle. They all do it for the glory of the woman. They all try to prove I'm the best alpha. I'm the biggest alpha. I have the most testosterone. I can give you the best, healthiest babies. It's survival of the fittest. Men against men. Man versus man. Since the dawn of time. That's what it's been. Animal kingdom and us humans as well. You go back to the caveman times. You go to any times, bro. It's always... Man versus man, we're trying to dominate one another. We're always in competition for the ladies. Think about how many stories you've heard of kings going to battle over a beautiful woman. Think about, what's that movie with Brad Pitt? Troy. I love that movie. Sparta and Troy went to battle over that queen. Bro, throughout all of time, men have been battling for the love of a beautiful woman. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, nah, but that's wrong. That's stupid. Wait, 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 bro. I told you, put your thinking caps on. Don't jump to conclusions yet, my G. Let me finish. So, all right. In this life, in this life, women, beautiful women, sexy women, the women that you find the most attractive. I'm talking about the Beyonce's, the Rihanna's, the Nicki Minaj, the <laughs> the Tiana Trump's, nigga. <laughs> nah, let me stop. But still, it doesn't matter. Whatever your taste is, the best of the best women are supposed to be utilized to motivate you. Men use the image of female perfection to motivate themselves. And that's exactly right. I'm serious. Women are utilized to motivate men. You are supposed to see women and be like, I want to become the best man that I can be so I can get the best of the best women. I'm dead ass serious, bro. I'm dead ass serious. This is a life hack that a lot of you guys are being told not to utilize. A lot of y'all are like, nah, man, you're not supposed to do it for women. Do it for yourself. But then you wonder why, why you can't lose weight. You wonder why, why can't I, why can't I make a YouTube channel and be consistent? Why can't I stay consistent on my workouts, lose weight? Why can't I be consistent in a lot of things in life? Because you're not utilizing your primal, your most primal, your most basic level of motivation, which is the opposite sex. You're supposed to utilize your sexual energy to cultivate that passion and you see a woman and be like, oh, I'm going to become the best version of myself so I can get her. I'm going to say this, and I hope you guys understand me. The, another reason why porn is really messing up men, because it takes away that motivational factor. A lot of men, y'all watching porn and you beating off already, so you already feel like, I already see the best of the best women. They already helped me bust. So you lose a lot of testosterone. You lose a lot of drive. I'm dead ass. That's why men with a lot of drive, they're not beating off. I'm trying to put y'all up on game. Like... Y'all my boys. Y'all my boys. Whoever watching this, I'm trying to change your whole mindset, bro. I'm telling you. People that are higher ups, we know. We know. People that are in sports, people that are in entertainment, we all know about sexual transmutation. We know. We know how to focus our energy to go after what we want. And we know 
to come up with a motivational factor that can motivate us. Some people, like I said, the people that are already married and in relationships, they utilize that woman and their family as motivation. The single men like me, we utilize women, other single beautiful women as motivation. And it's not just because of sex. Let's say you're the type of man, you don't really even want to have sex. You just want to be married, right? And you want to start a family. That can be your motivation. I want to be the best version of me so I can give me a fine ass wife, a beautiful wife, and we can have a beautiful kids. Have a beautiful kids. I mean, have some beautiful kids. I just ate dinner. I'm talking a lot. I got a burp, but I'm holding it back. Give me a second. I'm not going to burp. Anyway, so look, bro. On some real, I'm trying to put you up on game. The reason why I have been motivated for the past five years on YouTube, I was putting up videos every day. Well, this year, you guys know I haven't put up videos. You know why. Spiritual journey. I already talked to you all about that. However, motivation in the form of women is the most primal form of motivation that a man can utilize. If you don't want to utilize that motivation, you're cutting yourself short. I don't know why you don't want to tap into your masculine energy. You're a man. So you have way more masculine energy than feminine energy. And the best motivation for masculine energy is a woman. It's feminine energy. So if you, instead of you following these thoughts on Instagram, just to be looking like, oh my God, she look good. Ooh, ooh. Utilize that for motivation. Look at her and be like, mm, you know what? When I get on top, I'm a fuck her. She going to be mine. I'm going to get on top and I'm going to get you. See what I'm saying? If you get a girlfriend, utilize your girlfriend for motivation. Think about her like, bro, if I hit the gym, she on me right now, right? But if I hit the gym and I put on muscle, nigga, think about how much more she going to be on me. Okay, right now, she don't really like to get me top like that. But watch when I get sexy. She going to... Every night. Like, you see what I'm saying? You're supposed to utilize that for motivation. And your motivation will be through the roof. Unfortunately, unfortunately, if you don't want to, if you decide, I'm not going to use women for motivation, these hoes. Because <laughs> you in that red pill community and you a woman hater for some reason. First off, let that shit go. That's for another video. But let's say... You don't want to utilize women for motivation. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Like I said, look, look throughout the animal kingdom. What is their main motivation? It's to survive and then to get the best woman. Look in the world today. What do rappers and singers and everybody talk about? Women. What do men do? We show our cars. We show our clothes. We show our jewelry. This is another form of peacocking. So we can get the women. We, we want to have all the money. We want to have all the expensive things. So we can attract the woman and show her like, yeah, you see, you see how successful I am? Now come here. That's why niggas always talk about, I got all these hoes. Woo -woo -woo. Y'all not realizing though. You see that in the Tom Sawyer story. So Tom Sawyer is about 12 years old. And he's still hanging around with his friends like Huck Finn. And this girl moves across the street, Becky, and she comes out and he's struck by her for the first time in his life. Something's changed. And the first thing he does is hop up on a picket fence and show off and balance in front of her. And he's saying, well, look at me, look at me. I'm, he's like the male bower bird building something beautiful so the female will approve of it. Women is one of the main motivations for men. You guys are over here listening to a lot of dudes listening to a lot of people that's trying to teach you not to use women. No, you're supposed to love women and a woman is supposed to motivate you. And then when you find your wife, that's your main source of motivation. I want to be the best that I can be so I can provide a fire ass life for me and my wife. You see what I'm saying? That's your motivation because let's be honest. Let's just be honest for a second. As a man, we don't require that much. You know you will be completely satisfied if you had any old car, any old job, any, any type of clothing, as long as you had some video games, as long as you had some entertainment, as long as you had some friends, and as long as you can have sex, a man will be completely fine. Let's be real. It doesn't take much for a man to be happy. Let's keep it all the way a stack. And that's true. But if you want to ascend to higher heights... If you want to be the best of the best, 
You have to utilize women as your motivation. I'm telling you. This is a biohack. This is the secret for men. And I know a lot of you guys are like, nah, man, don't use women for motivation. You got to motivate yourself. Yes, motivate yourself. But ultimately, figure out why. Think about that. If you come up with your dream life, you know you have a fine-ass woman with you. Or if you're into the whole poly, if you want a lot of women, you still want a lot of fire-ass women, right? That's your motivation. That's your motivation. Fine women, beautiful women, the best women in the world. Utilize women for motivation. Stop looking at porn, beating off. That depletes your motivation because your brain is already, you looking at women. <laughs> so you already doing what your body is meant to do. So now that motivation is gone. You stop beating off and using that. Your testosterone goes through the roof and your body just wants a woman. Ask anybody who's done no fat. After about two weeks of no fat, they start to crave sex and they start to crave women. And they just look at women and you just have that eye. You have that killer instinct for women because that's your motivation. So when you have that killer instinct because you just want some sex, you just want some booty, you know the only way for you to get booty is if you lose weight, you take care of yourself, you make your skin and everything nice, you fix your teeth, your hair. Like, I need a haircut. Let me not even talk about hair right now. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? That's a man's most primal source of motivation. That's, that's so deeply embedded in us, you can't get rid of it. And this is a biohack that you need to utilize. If you don't, you are literally missing out on one of the best and strongest levels of motivation for a man. You have a primal instinct deep within you. The desire to have a woman. That is so primal. You can't fight it. I don't care how upset and fed up you are with women. There, you have a deep primal instinct to want to have a woman. And if you deny that, you are lying to yourself and you're denying one of the most masculine parts of yourself. Let's keep it a stack. Shout out to the gang. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying and I hope you decide to utilize the best motivation for men, which is women. That's why all the men, at, all the men that's on top, that's what they utilize. They utilize their passion and they say, I want the baddest bitches in the world. Or not even multiple bitches. You can only want, maybe you just want one. That's fine. But every man has that desire. And you can't get rid of it. Shout out to the gang, everybody. Have a great day. See y'all next time. Yeah, peace.